Pseudonymity is an important concept for study of the Bible. It means that a writing has been written under a false name or an assumed name. Is there pseudonymity in the Bible? Yes, there is. I think we have to be frank about that. Uh, we find it in the Old Testament. An example would be the book of Daniel. It pretends to be from the time of the Babylonian exile, 6th century. But as a person does a study of it and finds its, we might say, its local color, its references, scholars today assign it to the 2nd century B.C. Uh, some of the Psalms would be pseudonymous. And if it's in the Hebrew trad tradition, it's also in the Greco-Roman tradition. For example, we have letters of Plato uh, that have been preserved. Are they from Plato? Classical scholars say, no, they're written by someone else with Plato's name attached. Pseudonymity has to do with something very simple, and that is, let's take Paul as an example. In a situation after the time of Paul, new issues come up, and people wish, oh, if Paul were only here, what would Paul say? And so there are people of Pauline heritage, sometimes called the Pauline school, who impersonate Paul, representing what Paul would say in the present circumstances. We should not be surprised that there's pseudonymity in the Bible because it's very common in the ancient world. Now, that has nothing to say about the uh, status of these books. They're in our Bibles. They should be there. No one seems to want them out. They find them to be books which convey the essential message of the Christian faith.